Peppers, welcome back to Sweet Peas and Saffron. I'm Denise and I'm sharing easy meal prep recipes to give you your time back during the week. Today we are going to talk about how to get the most perfect, juicy, baked chicken breast. Chicken breast is a great option for meal prep. It's a lean protein, it's super versatile and you can use so many different flavors. Um, and it cooks really quickly as well. But when you don't cook it right, chicken breast is so bad. It can be dry and chewy and stringy. So today I'm sharing all the tips so that you get the most perfect, juicy, baked chicken breast. There are a few important points when it comes to baking the perfect chicken breast. Number one, you want to pick the right temperature. I suggest a high temperature as this keeps the moisture locked in. Baking at a lower temperature will tend to dry out your chicken breast. Number two, you wanna make sure that you pick the correct cook time for your chicken breast, and this is entirely going to depend on the size of your chicken breast. So the best way to know how long to cook your chicken is to weigh them. If you don't have a kitchen scale, you can also use a digital thermometer to check the internal temperature, and that will help you get the most accurate cook time for your chicken breast. So I do have a cook chart based on the weight of your chicken breast and it is in the description box below. Number three, always, always, always rest your baked chicken breast. If you slice into your chicken breast right after it comes out of the oven, all of the juices in the chicken breast are just going to run out all over your cutting board and it's not gonna be very juicy. I actually suggest resting your chicken breast under a cover. So I just take a baking dish and like flip it over the chicken as it rests. And this, for whatever reason, helps lock in even more moisture. I'm also going to show you three different ways to add flavor to your chicken breast. So first we're going to bake up the base recipe and then I'll show you two other seasonings that you can use to add different flavors to your baked chicken breast. So let's get prepping. So the first thing we're going to do is preheat our oven to 450 degrees. I am going to show you how to make a half recipe of my perfect baked chicken breast. So we're only going to be using two chicken breasts. So I'll be having the recipe as written. Next, we're going to toss our chicken breasts in olive oil. And we're going to stir together a rub. So this is a super popular rub recipe. My kids are obsessed with it and my readers on the blog also really enjoy it. So in a small bowl, we'll stir together paprika, brown sugar, and if you're keto or low carb, you can leave the sugar out. The rub is still great even without the sugar. Onion powder, garlic powder, black pepper, and salt. We're just going to sprinkle this rub generously over the chicken breast. And then we'll arrange them on a baking sheet and bake them in the oven. So my chicken breasts look to be around seven ounces. So I'm gonna be baking them for 15 to 20 minutes and I like to flip them halfway. So I'm gonna set my timer for 10 minutes and then I'll flip them over and bake them for another five to 10 minutes. For this batch, I'm going to test with my digital thermometer to make sure that they have reached an internal temperature of 165 degrees Fahrenheit. And you can find the link for my digital thermometer in the description box below. Okay, so my chicken breasts are ready to come out of the oven. So I'm going to transfer them to a cutting board and cover them with a baking dish. We're going to let the chicken breasts rest for five minutes. Okay, our chicken breasts are done resting and now it's time to slice into them. All right, so that is my favorite baked chicken breast recipe. This has amazing reviews on my site, but I thought it would be fun to share two other ways that you can add flavoring to your baked chicken breast. So on the site, I have a post with seven different rubs that you can use for chicken and vegetables. You could use them for steak, for shrimp, seafood, anything really. I'm gonna use the Indian spice blend, which has like a mix of curry powder and garam masala and is really delicious. And I'm also going to use the jerk chicken seasoning, which is like a super shortcut, uh, not authentic, but gives you some Jamaican flavors to your chicken. So again, I'm just going to toss these chicken breasts in olive oil and then coat them generously in the seasoning blend. Okay. 
and we're going to bake them up at 450 degrees just like we did for the other baked chicken breast recipe. So these baked chicken breasts are great served for dinner. They're great used for meal prep. Actually, here is a meal prep tip. If you're going to use these for meal prep, let them cool completely before you slice in them because this really seals the juices in and there will be so much more moist. I kind of hate that word, but you know what I mean. They'll taste so much juicier through the week. So that takes care of our perfect baked chicken breast recipe. If you have any questions about anything that I said, please ask me in the comments below and I am happy to answer. And if you liked this perfect baked chicken breast recipe video, you are going to love the next video where I am showing you how to marinate your chicken in the freezer. So I have seven different chicken marinade recipes that you can freeze your chicken breast right in and that adds so much flavor.